everybody, welcome back to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and here on my YouTube channel. And in this video, we're gonna take another look here at the Icon QCOM Pro X. And specifically in this video, we're gonna talk about the eight function keys that are up here at the top of the master section and what they do and how you can program them to um, you know, make it easy for the things that you do all the time, your most common tasks, we can program those functions to these buttons. And then there's also some pre-programmed uh, stuff on a second layer of these buttons. And we'll talk all about that in a second. So that's what we're gonna do. So before we get started, make sure you check the playlist in the description box below, as I have a whole series of videos on the Icon QCon Pro X, how it works, how we set it up, how we unbox it, all that stuff and some functionality, not only with Studio One, but also with uh, Cubase and Uendo. We've done some comparison videos there as well. Make sure you check all of that out. Also, if this is your first time here, we're talking about a control surface that we use for controlling our DAW and for mixing. Specifically, I want you to go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com because I want to give you a free mixing course. It's right on the home page. There's a big orange button. You can't miss it. Click on that. It'll give you a hundred dollar mixing course, absolutely free. It's my gift to you just for visiting homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to give you something else for free. And also one other thing, if you're really into the craft of mixing and you want to learn how to get better at the craft, you're new to mixing, or you've been mixing for a while and you want to brush up on your mixing chops and you want to join a community of like-minded people who are all trying to get better at the craft of mixing, check out what I have going on at mixingmadeeasy.net. All the links will be in the description box below. So here we are in Studio One. Here is our beautiful Icon QCon Pro X. Love saying that, Icon QCon Pro X. <laughs> cool name, sometimes it's a tongue twister. Anyway. Let's talk about these eight buttons here at the top, these eight function keys, okay? I know they're a little difficult to see in the video. It's actually a little difficult for difficult for me to see because uh, I got the lighting pretty dim here to make sure I can get uh, a, a pretty good uh, video resolution here of the Icon uh, Pro X here. So these keys here, you can program to do the most common tasks that you want to use in Studio One. Let me show you how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here in Studio One and where you have this external button, down here on the left hand side, click that and you will see you're in external devices that are here that are set up with Studio One. And we have our three units, our control unit and our two extenders. So we're gonna go to the control unit because that's where all these buttons are. And we're gonna click the drop down arrow and go to edit. And that is gonna pop up our, um, this dialog box here for us to program the MIDI functions, okay? So as you see along the bottom, we have F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, F7, and eight. Some of these things are already programmed via the via the um, the IMAP insert here, but we can make these whatever we want. So let's say on F1, we want the F1 key to always open and close our browser. Let's say our plugin browser. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the F1. We're gonna go to assign commands. We're gonna get a dialog box here and we can just search or we can scroll up and down and check out all the different things that they can assign to these buttons and there's just about everything. But let's say we wanna do browser. So we'll type in browser and we'll hit okay. Oh, we gotta, sorry, my bad, let me do that again. <laughs> let's unassign that and let's reassign that. So browser, we're going to go ahead and we're gonna look at our browser. Here it is, view browser. So we can click on browser right? And we can hit okay. Now it says browser. So now when I hit my F1 key, you'll see on the right hand side of the screen, I know right above the QCon Pro X right beneath my video, I guess I can slide this out of the way a little bit. Let me move the icon QCon out of the way. Just for a second, come back. If we hit that key, the browser opens and close. Really handy, right? Let me put my icon QCon Pro X back over here so you guys can see everything on the screen. Let's say we wanted to um, over here, we wanted number two to be open and close the console or the mixer. So we can do that. So we can right click here, assign command. And then once again, we can say, um, console view console. Okay. We can click on that, hit okay. And now F2 is going to open and close the mixer. Again, the icon QCon might be in the way, but trust me when I tell you the mixer, well, that's the browser F1. F2 opens and closes the mixer. You could probably see that behind the QCon video. See how I'm switching? Opens and closes the mixer or the console. Pretty cool. Say we wanted to add an insert to the selected track. We wanted to add a plugin. Let's say we wanted to make that number three. Again, we right click, assign command, 
we can just say we're going to add an insert, add, add insert. We can add an insert to the selected channels, or we can just add an insert. Um, we can add insert to the selected channel. Let's try that. Let's see what that does. Right now, our selected channel is our drum bus here, which is, again, the icon is in the way. So that's going to be F3. Let me uh, close this for a second. Let me move our wonderful control surface out of the way. And the drum bus here, which is the selected track. So if I hit F3, let's see what happens. Oh, do I have to be in studio? I may have to be focused in studio one mode here. Okay, interesting. That does, oh, you know why? Because that's a bus, maybe not a track. No, that, oh, there it is. It's on the other part of the screen. Sorry, guys. I got two, two monitors happening here. <laughs> Here it is right here. So let me close that again. F3, let me close that and do that again. It came up on my other screen. So there it is. And, uh, it's popping up down here. It pops up on the screen. Trust me. So right here, you'll see when I click the F3, it's going to add an insert to the selected channel. I'm on the uh, the, the the overhead left here on the icon QCon Pro. And so now I could come through and I can pick an effects chain. I can add a device or whatever we're going to do. We can pick our pre our, our plugins here in the drop down list. We can do all of that stuff. So you can add a plugin like that. So that's that's pretty cool, right? So these top eight keys can be anything. As you saw, that's how easy it is to program them. So that's pretty straightforward. Now, what we also have is we have um, right next to it here, we have uh, on the QCon, we have this button to the left of these eight keys called layers. And in the layers, that is gonna make these buttons multi. It's like a shift key. Think of it that way. They call it layer two. So the top, the uh, F key three, four, five, six, seven, and eight have multi functions. F one and two do not, but three, four, five, six, seven, eight do. I'll probably try to put a photo up so you could see the text better. You can't really see it in the video. And honestly, I can't see it from sitting here because the lights are so dim, but I have it on my iPhone here. I have a photo of it so I can tell you which, which everyone is. And what this is going to do is this is going to, uh, this is going to uh, change the way our faders kind of snap here in, in uh, Studio One. So F3 is the audio track. So if I'm on layer and hit F3, all that's going to do is going to snap all of my faders to only the audio tracks in my session. So as you'll see down here on the screen, we have a drum bus and a reverb, which is not an audio, which is not an audio track, right? So if I use the faders before it, you'll see right here in Studio One the overheads. But if I go to the next channel, the next fader over, it's actually going to be the bass. Why is it the bass? Because it skips over the drum bus and the reverb, the, the effects channel, because I have the um, the audio track selected, which is F3 on that layer. So it only puts the faders on the audio tracks. If I go to um, F4, that is going to only show my inserts, which again, all the faders, there's nothing, there's nothing audio, in, audio in, uh, in, insert there, or audio input actually, um, there's nothing there. So the faders all snap down. Um, number five is gonna be my effects channels. And as I said, you'll see here in the light blue, we have a drum verb and now fader one is now controlling my drum verb. See that? Okay. So layer two, function five will only show your, your uh, effects or your aux, your effects channels. We only have one, so that's why we only have one. Uh, F6 is gonna be our buses, right? And you'll see right next to it, my bus channel. So all my faders are only my buses. If I had 10 buses, the first 10 faders would pop up. Okay, so that's what that does. F7 actually does the master fader, which I'm not sure why you'd wanna do that, but you'll see that as I move track one, the master fader over here is also moving and is moving on the screen. Again, I'm not really sure why you'd wanna do that, but that does work. And then F8 is all tracks. F8 will bring everything back, the audio tracks, the buses, everything will move. Now you'll see my drum buses and my effects channels will move. It didn't skip over because I'm on all tracks. See that? That's how that works. Now, once you have all tracks, that puts every single fader that you have in your console view will be across your, your icon, uh, QCon Pro X. So I hope that video was helpful. It is really intuitive. Again, you have eight keys that you can program anything that you do all the time. You can program it 
to those eight keys and it keeps you from having to use the mouse and the keyboard as much so that's really cool so i want to thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video so as i said in the beginning of the video a few things make sure you check the playlist below for the rest of the icon qcon pro x video series also make sure you go out to home recording get yourself that free mixing course take that mixing course if you dig my style of teaching and you want to check out some of my other full length paid training courses, I want to give you a discount. I want to give you a coupon code that it will take 25% off any training course on the website. That coupon code is YouTube 25. YouTube 25 will take 25% off anything else on the website. Go check it out today. And again, if you're really into mixing and you really want to learn mixing and mixing is your thing, or you want to just get better at mixing your own music at home, check out mixingmadeeasy.net. It is the most effective and the fastest way for you to get better at the craft of mixing. For all experience levels, it is perfect for beginners and intermediates. You'll join a wonderful community of people. You'll get yourself a new training course every single month, a full mixing course you get every single month. You get new multi-track files every single month. We have mixing contests and plug-in giveaways, a, a, a private community of like-minded people. It's a wonderful place, mixingmadeeasy.net. Check it out today. And until the next video where we take a look at some more features of the icon, QCon Pro X, I've been Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com and mixingmadeeasy.net. I'll see you guys in the next video.